Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have some exciting news coming out of Iraq that has the potential to significantly impact the financial landscape of the country. As many of you may already know, Ali Mohsen al Alaq, the former governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, has officially resigned. This development has sparked a wave of excitement and optimism across Iraq, and I'm here to break down what this could mean for the future of the Iraqi dinar and the country's economy. First, let's dive into why Alaq's resignation is such a big deal. Ali Mohsen al Alaq has been a prominent figure in Iraq's financial sector for years. He was appointed as the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq back in 2014 and has since played a crucial role in shaping the country's monetary policies. However, his tenure has not been without controversy. Many have criticized his approach to managing the Iraqi dinar and the broader economic strategies of the central bank under his leadership. For some time now, there have been whispers and speculations about Alaq being one of the major roadblocks to significant financial reforms in Iraq, particularly regarding the revaluation or change in the exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar. This speculation has led to widespread frustration among the Iraqi people and international investors alike, who have been eagerly awaiting positive changes in the country's economic policies. The excitement surrounding Alaq's resignation is palpable. I've been in touch with several contacts on the ground in Iraq, including a reliable source within the finance ministry. The consensus is clear. There is a newfound sense of hope and anticipation. People are optimistic that with Alaq stepping down, there will be more room for progressive financial reforms. My contact in the finance ministry mentioned that this move is seen as removing one of the last major obstacles in the path of economic revitalization. It's also worth noting the stance of Prime Minister Mohammed Shia al-Sudani on this matter. He has been vocal about his support for economic reforms and has emphasized that the authority to revalue or adjust the exchange rate of the dinar lies with the Central Bank of Iraq. With a lock out of the picture, there is speculation that the new leadership at the central bank will be more aligned with Sudani's vision for Iraq's economic future. This brings us to the question on everyone's mind. What does this mean for the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar? While it's important to approach this topic with cautious optimism, the signs are encouraging. The change in leadership at the central bank could pave the way for a more dynamic and proactive approach to monetary policy. If the new governor is willing to implement bold reforms, we might see significant changes in the valuation of the dinar in the near future. Of course, the revaluation of a currency is a complex process influenced by numerous factors, including political stability, economic conditions, and international relations. However, the removal of a figure perceived as an impediment to progress is a positive step. It signals a potential shift in the economic policy framework which could lead to the kind of changes many have been hoping for. In conclusion, while it's still early days and much remains to be seen, Alok's resignation is undoubtedly a significant development. It represents a potential turning point for Iraq's financial future and has injected a sense of hope and excitement into the conversation about the country's economic prospects. We will continue to monitor the situation closely and keep you updated on any further developments. Stay tuned to the channel for more in-depth analysis and updates on this unfolding story. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates. If you have any questions or thoughts about this topic, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Until next time, stay informed and stay hopeful.